probably the most frequent question uh, I get is if I do auto combos, how do I stop doing auto combos and what do you what do you properly do? Um, there's like really basic combos in this game like light medium and uh, it does essentially the same thing an auto combo does. However, there are three other sort of unique combo paths you can take with almost every character in the game and that doesn't even include some of their unique stuff. This includes some, or doesn't include some characters like Android 21, doesn't include uh, Yamcha. Some characters in this game don't have down heavy attacks in the air. Uh, they just do something completely different than launch up. So the whole point would be now to show everybody what the hell do you do besides auto combos and basic combos to get more damage. And I'm going to show you some proper extensions using Goku. And Goku is probably the best example because his works fundamentally normal. Uh, but we can also use like Yamcha. I'm sorry, we can also use like TN. Uh, Vegeta Blue is probably another great example. Since this is technically an anime fighter, most anime fighters have chain combos. All a chain combo means is that you can go from your light attack, your medium attack, to your heavy attack in succession. Um, not in the reverse order, only in rare situations can you. Uh, you essentially can do it from light, medium to heavy. So, but here's the thing. If you start looking at auto combos in this game, let's look at Goku's. If I just mash square... Alright, so that looked, that looked a little weird. But now if we actually do light, medium, heavy... Uh, that's right, the wrong button. It's a bit different. Um, so, the whole point now is that everyone kind of goes for these light auto combo situations that send up into a launcher and knock you down. But if you wanted to do it manually, here's... Here's a completely different way. So, if you go from light, medium to heavy, you get a side bounce. Press heavy again to dash in, and then you're ready to do the rest. If I pressed, if I just mashed light at the end there, this is what I get. Oh god, oh god. So you get a similar, once again, the light, the light auto combo in the air is the light auto combo in the air. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you want to do something different? Um, here is the here's the most basic of combos you can do outside of it. So that was light medium, double jump forward into light medium. Uh, let me see if I can give you guys another quick example of how this works. So dash in, light medium, up forward, light medium, heavy. Uh, another variation. Throw in something like that in the end, and then go into super or whatnot. Uh, so the idea is between that that jump cancel. There's an interesting thing here. When you do a medium attack in one of these games, if the medium attack hits, guess what? Look what I can do. You can actually jump out of it. So I can jump up forward. I can jump up. I can jump up back if I want. And that's essentially what you're doing. You're doing light medium, and then jumping up forward, and then pressing light medium again. That is how it works. Up forward, and there it goes. So, people have a confusing aspect. Uh, the confusing part of this is the jump forward. When and how the hell do I jump forward? Don't hold up forward. If you hold up forward, the game doesn't know if you're going up forward. If you tap up forward, that's what you're looking for. So it's not like jump up forward, it's tap up forward. And if you tap up forward, it actually works just fine. Uh, but make sure you're not holding forward, and that's what I think a lot of people mess up with. So, that's a big thing, and then you can get something like this. And then do a proper, a proper air combo, which is fantastic! So that was method one. Uh, method two is quite a bit different. A little bit more difficult, but quite a bit different. Um, like we just said, a medium can be jump cancelled. These are anime games, mediums get jump cancelled. It's kind of common in Arc System Works games. But you need to jump cancel that medium on the ground. Sometimes you don't want to use this attack. Your smash attack is actually super valuable. So if you want to preserve that and actually go for a bit more of an extended combo, almost any character in the game can do this. All of a sudden, you're in a situation where, oh, I haven't even used my smash yet. And they're up there doing their thing. Um, well, all I really did was do a crouching medium into a standing medium and then jump cancel the standing medium by just by tapping up forward and then pressing light medium. Tap forward again, light medium. There you go. Uh, 
this is a universal combo for the majority of characters in the game. This gives you a little bit more damage uh, than the one combo we were just talking about, and it gives you a lot more damage than the other combo before it. The reason this is valuable, and I mentioned this a little while ago, you see this down heavy thing in the air? You press, you just press heavy in the air, you get this. It's a, it's a completely different attack. But down heavy is this launcher thing that you get down here. So now that's an aerial smash attack. And since you haven't used your smash attack from this, you can do it in your little sweep combo. Dash up. And that's a full combo. And look at that. That was nearly like 50% with Goku. And it's very basic. Uh, that is the fundamental combo you can see with almost every single character in the game. Uh, but I understand it can be a bit difficult to get there, uh, especially if you're hit confirming into it. Mash heavy, uh, 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 uh. right into that. So a lot of people are going to asking, how do I, how do I chase them down? Here's something I didn't even realize, and I was doing manual dashing. If you press heavy, then mash heavy after. Guess what? You get you get aerial pursuit automatically. I didn't even know that. Down heavy, mash heavy. You go up there and you chase them down. So. When you do a down heavy in the air, if you just mash heavy, you're following up after. So... Whee! Full combo. Um, I'm gonna try to make my inputs as clean as possible on the left. I like to mash buttons just to make sure they come out. But I'll, I'll give you... I'll, I'll show you. So if you want to slow it down and see every input going from that point forward, almost every character in the game can do something similar to that. If I brought out uh, Tien, for example, Tien's got a great one. Uh, you can actually do it even earlier. So, for example, do it first. That's the same thing. All I did was you only get one double jump and one aerial dash per combo when you're in the air. So, if I want to use my double jump later, like at the top, you can do that. Do it now. One, two, double jump. And then there you go. Some characters have faster moves, like for example, Tien can go really fast. He can actually throw in a couple more buttons if he wants, but that's, that's a discussion for uh, another time. That's some character-specific stuff. So, that is combo... Two. Uh, that's what you can essentially do with a situation where you get a smash attack from light, medium, heavy, and a sweep into standing medium by double jumping up. Here's three. This one I'm going to consider intermediate. It's not incredibly hard, but it is absolutely the intermediate combo because almost every character can do an even extended version. Uh, instead of doing light, medium in the air, you can actually do light, medium, light and then continue for more combos. Um, with Goku, I'll show you a quick example. So, I added an extra hit in there for a little bit more damage, if not a little bit more meter, which is which is nice. So, let's follow up with an aerial pursuit again, and then get him up for the combo. Light, medium, light, follow, light, medium, light, and then... Uh, here's where the hard extension is. You can do a down heavy in the air, a second time. Uh, only one smash you get in the air for most characters. So there's some rules that break. But on the second one, that just acts like a regular hit. Meaning that, well, since it's a regular air hit, you can jump cancel it. So that's cool. You can now jump cancel a heavy, which means that's a lot of damage after the heavy. So here's where it gets a little complicated. Let me, let me, let me show you. Light, medium, light, heavy. And then you hit him up there again. So, here's the dilemma. I'm going to do this manually, and I'm going to show you we're going to go all the way back to the start where auto combos are actually useful. Watch this. Huh, that whiffed. You see people do that combo all the time. What, what is going on? When you do an auto combo... The game does its best to make sure that your character is as close to the other character as possible so that if people are mashing on square or mashing on triangle, you're actually going to finish your combo. You see how Goku was up there? I was just mashing square. 
here's here's the interesting thing. Um, full combo, mash square. So that last part, that was just me mashing lights, but it essentially emulated light, medium to heavy. You know what I mean? Here's the crazy thing. You can break the boundaries of the game by doing an auto combo. When you're up that high in the air, it seemed kind of hard to reach them, right? When we had our big extension. If you do two hits of the auto combo, not three, just two, your character will mystically float up. Because the game's logic has to guarantee that if you're doing an auto combo, this shit needs to work. So, on the last double jump on the way up there, let's do the auto combo. All of a sudden, after that, after that light attack, Goku's medium kick jumped up there. And if you look on the left, all I was doing was mashing light. All I was doing was mashing light. So, for those of you that are having a tough time having your character get up to the other character and during long combos, mash light, and you'll guarantee to finish it with a hard knockdown. If you want to do a little bit more, however, you can get something like this. See how that didn't work? Mash light! Oh, man, look at that. I mashed light instead. So, manual way, and then mash light. And it makes it work either way. Uh. And that's the full combo extension with Goku. That is what you do if you're that high into the air. The, the really crazy thing about this is that this opens up situations that the game technically doesn't normally allow for if you do things manually. Like uh, this combo, which uh, which was discovered on YouTube about a week ago. I definitely didn't discover this. Check this out. You can do stuff like that. That actually requires your character to be very high up in the sky, like way up there, because you need more time for them to travel down to get to the second super. So once again, the first combo opportunity in the game is just to mash lights and get auto combos. The second one is to go for light medium, double jump light medium combos, and then go for an ender. The third one is to go for a sweep and a standing medium, double jump that into light medium, light medium, and then launch them up into the air. And then the final one is to add a bunch more lights, down heavies during your combo, and get your character up to the sky as much as possible to take advantage of the auto combo that tracks your character to the opponent no matter what. And that's how people get crazy huge combos in Dragon Ball Fighters. Kinda, it's, and this is, the crazy thing is that this is just the beginning. Like, people are already finding things with characters that break the structure of these types of combo strings as well as doing things that no other character can. So we're gonna get some character unique auto combos. I'm not even throwing in assists. It's literally just the beginning. Everyone thought Marvel vs. Capcom 2 combos were hella basic when that game came out. And look where that shit went. So yeah, good luck.